Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Western Union money orders and more specifically, I'm going to show you how to fill out a Western Union money order. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video, not a lot of steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you be looking up information on how to fill out a Western Union money order? Well, it's pretty easy. These things can be kind of confusing. So I'm going to go over all those details and a few things you need to watch out for before you send this money order from Western Union to anybody. So let's jump right into this. First off, I went ahead and purchased this money order right here from Western Union. Actually, I bought this one at a 7-Eleven. I believe all Western Union agent money orders look the same. This is the only kind that I've ever seen. If yours looks different than this, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know. But I'm pretty sure they're all issued and look the same in a uniform Western Union money order style. So first thing you're going to notice is once you get a money order from Western Union, it is split into two different pieces. There's a perforated line right here. So one thing you want to know is this portion up here is what you're going to be sending or giving to somebody to pay for whatever it is you're paying for. This portion down here, you will want to tear it off and keep it for your records. So your records here and then the portion that you're giving to somebody up here. So first things first, once you purchase this money order, you may want to keep a pen with you and fill it out immediately because if you don't fill out this money order it's pretty easy for someone to find it if you lose it or even if they steal it they can easily just cash this money order all they're going to do is just write their name right here and then take it to their bank bada bing bada boom then they have cashed your western union money order so to help prevent that what you might want to do when you're at the store or at western union go ahead and type in the pay to the order of so if you're paying a company write in the company name there if you're paying a person go ahead and write their name right here Make sure you spell it correctly because if you don't spell it correctly, it can cause problems for whoever's going to be trying to cash this Western Union money order. Next here on this line, there is a space for you to put payment for or account number. So if you're paying a utility bill, go ahead and just write in your account number. Or if you're paying an individual, go ahead and make a note of what the payment is for. So if it's rent, go ahead and write the month and year of the rent or something like that to help remember and remind them what the payment is for. Next, you are the purchaser since you are the one that purchased it from Western Union. So you wanna go ahead and put in your address right here. Part of the reason for that is because if you lose this Western Union money order and some nice individual happens to pick it up and they decide to return it, that way they know which address to send this money order to. Lastly, on the front of the money order, you're gonna see purchaser signature. So again, this is your signature you wanna sign right there. You do wanna sign that before you give it to somebody to pay with your Western Union money order. So that's it for the payment part of the Western Union money order that you're gonna to need to fill out. If you look down here on your section, there is a place for you to put payable to. You probably wanna go ahead and fill that out for your record so that way you know who this money order was sent to. So again, type in the name of the utility or the individual that you're paying. So that's pretty much it on the front. Let's go ahead and flip it over. And if you look at the back of the payment side of the money order right here, there is one line right here for a signature. You do not want to sign there. That is only for the person that is cashing the money order. So again, if you paid your landlord, your landlord's going to sign there. If you paid the utility company, they are the ones who is signed there. Do not sign there. So on your portion of the money order right down here, as you can see, this is your receipt part. You see there's a lot of different boxes to fill out. You don't necessarily need to fill this out. The only reason you're going to need to fill this out is if you need Western Union to research the payment to see if it was cashed or to see who cashed it or to have it reissued. If that's the case, you do need to open a dispute with Western Union and it's taken care of in this particular form right here. Keep in mind, this is not a quick process. In fact, you can see right here, it says they allow 30 days for processing that, which is not fast at all. They also charge you $15 to request a tracing or a refund of this money order. So that's not cheap. But if it's something you need to do, you do want to go ahead and put in your first name here, last name here, your mailing address, city, state, zip code. You're also going to type in or write in the address and name of the company that you bought the money order from. So for me, it was 7-Eleven. You're also going to write here who the money order is written out to and the reason for your request. So research or refund or cancel. Next up here in this section right here, you're going to see the amount of the money order you want to write in there and the date that you purchased the money order. Lastly, you want to go ahead and sign right here, date, and then put your phone number and that way Western Union can get in touch with you if they have any questions. But again, this portion is not required for you to fill out if you're simply paying somebody. This is just if you need to dispute something about the money order. So let me go ahead and flip this back over and that's pretty much it. That is how you can fill out a Western Union money order. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.